Hello, hello, hello. How are we? Hello, Gim. Hello, Existence. Hello, Manual. Hello, Scopes. Hello, Robot. How are we doing today? Hello, hello, hello. Me? What am I doing? Oh. The day I give e a manual emote perms. Gambling emotes would be added. I got to explain to? I don't have anything. I don't have any explaining to do. Are you my fucking boss? God, you motherfuckers are so micromanagey. Shut up. Leave me alone. You said you were going to go live at 9.30 and you went live at 10.30 instead. Shut up. Actually, Emmanuel, I will give you emote perms. I changed my mind really quick. Are you still welcome here? <laughs> Why would you not be welcome here? Let's see what you got, Emmanuel. This is your apprenticeship. Um, hello, Louis. I was going to make you e uh, emo editor Gim. But then scopes came. Da, da, da. Shlee to Thanks oh my for the god. Schlee's her prime on me. It says September. And I'm a Giga State Giga Stacy Dom is crazy. Actually, no, that's fair. I'll give Gim emote perms. Gim has some good ones too. I might as well add the people that have good emotes. I, I guess you are allowed. I guess you're allowed. Barely, though. I'm not happy about it. Just know that. I don't know if it... Your name isn't popping up, Gim Hawk to a... It's not popping up on this. What was your last name? Tom underscore five hundred thirty one. Oh my God, Tom! Subscribed for forty seven months. We got the Schlee Prime for sixty one months, and then the Tomo seventy or forty seven months in a row. God damn! Thank you, Cutie Pie Schlee, and thank you, Cutie Pie Tomo. Even though a little bit less Cutie Pie, neither of your names are showing up. Maybe you have to sign into 7TV or something for it to work. Because you're not popping up on the on the website. You don't have an account? Oh, okay. We'll sign in 7TV then. You have 7TV on though? No, sorry. I was talking to Gim. Sorry, Tama. How you been, Tama? Yes, Emmanuel. Emmanuel uh, has added a couple. Emmanuel just added them? Are you sure you don't want to just sign in and then I can make you a uh, person too? I mean, so that hard to fucking sign in. Let's go, Louie. I told you. Sometimes you need a break and you regain. It's as simple as that. School in a month? Wait, really? What kind of school? Why is it starting so, uh, at a weird time? I'm being micromanaging? That's literally... I, I fucking hope you get a swirly at school tomorrow.
trade school. Oh, okay. I got you. How long does that last? You actually got just turned turned up. The song is so se unserious now. No, I know. TikTok ruined it. Hi, Hurdle. Louie, I'm telling you, sometimes you're having a bad day. You're like losing every game. You just need a break. I also didn't stream last night and watched American Psycho with Shlee. So I wonder if uh, that had anything to do with it. Maybe me not being live means that you do good. I'm a bully. I'm not a bully. They're the bull. I literally ha respond and defend myself from the bullying that my community and chat gives me regularly. Hello, twin. How are you? <laughs> Louis, didn't you go live like three days ago? Am I doing a spooky watch party? Oh, damn right. I'm also going to be playing spooky games. Wait, maybe we can play a spooky game tonight. There's a game that Kez bought me, and it's like 30 minutes long, 45 minutes long, so I can play that. Did I hear the news? I'll bite. What news? Play Devour with people? That would be fun for a day or two. That's just like one of those... It's like lunch lady, right? You just like find stuff and you advance or whatever. One day max, it gets old, yeah. Ga a game like that's not, would be like a short one. I don't have it though. I think I'm gonna like play the games I have first, but I'm gonna be, I don't have enough games to last me the month, so. Not like, not like Lunch Lady way harder. Hey, Lunch Lady is super difficult. You and Aqua are teaming. Aqua would never team with your bum ass. You know that, right? This is... Okay, this is the games I have. Ready? These are the games I have ready to, ready to play for Spooktober. Um, most of them are pretty short. Um, Psalm 5-9-13. That's the one I was talking about. Uh, apparently it's like a walking simulator type game with some, with some spooks and some scares and it's only like 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Um, and then Resident Evil 2, which I've heard is, is a good one. I'm excited to play that. Um, and then Slender the Arrival, I have that one as well. I... Never ended up playing that game, but it looks like it has some decent decent scares. And that, that's also like a pretty short one. And then Dead Rising, which believe it or not, Dead Rising is considered a horror game, scary scarier game. And I think Dead Rising is like a six hour game. Um like around six hour game that psalm game is like a um like a 30 minutes 45 minutes and then resident evil 2 i think it said it was like eight hours or something and slender the arrival let me look it up real quick walking dead is not a spooky game i'm gonna play walking dead but that's not like a scary game like, at all. The new UCL format? What is it? <laughs> Excuse me, I just yawned right in your face. Oh, the average... Yeah, only two hours long. Yeah, literally every game I have is, is short. So, like, there's no way it's going to last me the whole month. Oh, you want to know what I do want to get and play? I I want to play Fears to Fathom. I think there's two Fears to Fathom that I haven't played yet, and I want to play both of them. And I I love those games. They're they're really good. They're short and they're good, and you can beat them in one stream. 
and they're they're just they have some good spookiness. Really? Did it hold up, Tamo? Yes, yeah, Scopes. I played that last Spooktober. Louie, I'm so excited. I really hope you actually watch some of them. Some of the... Okay, some spooky games are, like, more silly than spooky, though. Some of them. Not all of them, but... Hawk Tua or Spanish... Wait, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Big table, eight games each, randomly drawn. Champions League, how many league stages to the group stage? Wait, league, really? A league stage? Instead of... Wait, 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 so it's more like a league format type shit? Is that what you're saying? Was she here for that? No, she was unfortunately gone. I told her about it. You know, she's been coming, she's been popping in here and there in recent times. I don't know if you knew that, but she's been popping in here and there in recent times. And I already told her about how I, I played it and stuff, and she said it was okay. Thirty sixteen 16 TCN plays eight games. And what is it, just like the, a top 16 or whatever advance? Wait, for those of you that aren't in my Discord, Guess freaking what? Big news. Massive news. I know a couple people here already, already know. Something that I'm doing tomorrow. Hi, Poivin. Top 8, then top 24. Wait, you mean that the other way around, right? Can someone dox game? Top eight go to quarters. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. Okay, cool. What do y'all think? That doesn't sound bad. What made them want to change it though? Did they think it like it wasn't a good format before? Were people complaining? Anyway, the thing that I'm doing is I finally set up, well, because I found a Groupon that made it so cheap, I set up a laser hair removal appointment for tomorrow. How freaking crazy is that? I'm so excited. This is called Teen Beats. Should I change it? I can I can change Teen Beats, I guess. Excuse me. More than 10k in debt, by the way. The Grishy 4 had no good games, and you're pretty much in the two teams. Just like a ways. That is true. I mean, it was like kind of obvious. There was like way weaker teams sometimes that just get destroyed. That's kind of true, yeah. That's fair. Um, what radio should I put on? They want more big kind of thing. Would I quit Rocket League to get rid of the debt? Sure, donate me like seventeen thousand dollars and I'll quit Rocket League forever. But thank you, thank you. I'm so excited. It's believe like I don't know how. I don't know how. The deal is so good from Groupon. But it's eight sessions of laser hair removal uh, for $269, which is just crazy to me. I, I'm actually, I just can't believe it. Like, I thought I was going to be easily spending over $1,000. So when I saw it was as cheap as it was, 
I, I just jumped at it. Cause like there, like at that price, there's no reason for me to wait. I can easily afford that. I can pay it all up front, obviously, no problem. And you know, to, like that's like obviously a pretty decent chunk of money, but you know, like it's something that I want to do, and I've been wanting to do for a while. So why, like, why wait if I can afford it now? Don't get rid of my eyebrows. Don't worry, my eyebrows are here to stay. Believe it or not, I'm, I'll be keeping those. Don't worry, Tamo. Those will be, those will continue to get threaded and, and, and such. You're so sexy. <laughs> You're finally going bald. I basically will be bald below the eyebrows, pretty much. You never, you never, you never get it off. You never, you never, you never, you never get it off. But yeah, I have my appointment at 12 p.m. tomorrow afternoon, so, um, Apparently, she said, like, oh, we use the newest technology, and it works great on all skin types and whatever, and it's virtually painless. I have a really hard time believing that it's virtually painless, because I've heard a lot of people say that laser is pretty uncomfortable and can hurt and stuff. So, I don't know. Like, I don't think it's going to be virtually painless. But I, I'm prepared for it to be uncomfortable and probably hurt. So I'm not expecting it to be painless at all. I'm expecting it. I'm expecting it to hurt as at least as bad as epilating. And epilating can can hurt pretty bad. They gonna do something to me? Dude, trust me, I know it's crazy. Last stream. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, listen, listen. It's crazy. Like I like it feels like it's one of those things that's too good to be true because laser hair removal like usually is like a thousand plus dollars easily. But like for some reason the deal that they're having on Groupon is is so so good. Like um I even I called them earlier today obviously to make the appointment and I talked about it and asked about it. And it's legit. Uh, they, they're literally on Main Street, where I, like in the town I live in. Um, it's a legit place. They have they have like a four four point eight or something on Groupon. They have like a four point four on Yelp with hundreds of reviews. Like they're a legit place with hundreds of rev uh, reviews from real people. It's like I don't even know. Like I'm so lucky that like. I, I'm in the current timeline where, like, this is a thing. You got me for free? Just pull up? You'd, like, pluck my hairs out one by one. All psyops? <laughs> Emmanuel said it was going to be some homeless guy with a toaster. Bothered reviews like Kendrick. That would be crazy. I don't know anybody that's been there, but like I have never asked either. So like, I, how the fuck would I know? But like, I'm pretty sure I've seen the place. They're, they're on Main Street. Um, it's like, it's literally less than a 10 minute ride from my house. Like, it, like I don't know if the situation could have been any perfect. The price, super affordable, way, way cheaper than I was expecting. The distance, literally less than 10 minutes from my house uh it like it's just perfect scenario i don't know how to describe it hi freaky puss are you feeling freaky tonight
Main Street, the town you live in, tomorrow afternoon? <laughs> okay, you freak. If I see you, I hope you know you're getting full speed clotheslined. With no hesitation. Oh damn, my team. Oh nice, I got it. Could have been free and like next to my house. I mean, yeah, it could have been free and like literally my next door neighbor. That's, you're true. Mag. <laughs> Yo. Yo, that's true. That would still kind of work though. Like if it was a magnifying glass in the sun, like it would burn my skin off. Therefore, I wouldn't have skin for like hair to grow. If you think about it that way, it still works. Feeling immensely freaky. Oh my. Just come around the back. Just come just come around back. We got something for you. This is where our newest technology is. See you in Brazil? What do you, what do you mean see me in Brazil? Yo, the newest technology is behind back out by the dumpster. Uh, we have the boot set up back there. Just come check it out. Next thing I know, I'm waking out with a bathtub. I'm waking up in a bathtub with one less kidney. I just know it. I'll give you a good punch in the gut for free. You gave me... Oh, that's a pretty cheap price, to be honest, Poivin. See, the problem is... Okay, so, like, put it this way. Even if... Like, you know, you know, ignore, ignoring the, the fact that obviously I want my face to look more femme and get rid of facial hair and stuff like that. You know, ignoring that aspect of it, like purely from a, just speaking about my skin standpoint, I have very sensitive skin and I don't like, I obviously, I, I, I like to have no facial hair as often as possible, which means I obviously shave my face regularly. And my skin is so sensitive that I like almost always get razor burn or, or some sort of like irritation of some fashion almost every single time I shave. And it's so annoying, it's uncomfortable, I don't like how it looks, so on, so forth. So again, laser is also a solution to that because since you know what laser is doing is it's like burning the hair follicles at the root so they no longer grow anymore um like there's gonna be no hair to be irritated there's gonna be no ingrown hairs no irritation and i won't need to shave as much it's literally like it's like it is such a good thing for me on so many levels and like i've been again i've just been wanting it for a long time That kidney's being shipped to me as we speak. What? Apply something and call me, bro. My fault. Okay, sexy. What's cooking good looking? All right, Scopes. All right. All right, buddy. Elden Ring DLC more worth it? Absolutely not. The only slightly annoying thing about laser is you do need, like, a yearly maintenance appointment. But, like, if we're being real, that's, like, not really that annoying. Like, one appointment last, apparently, I asked her, and she said, she said between the consultation and the first appointment, it's only going to be 45 minutes. So, like, having, once I'm done with the treatment, having one treatment, like, a year is... Not that bad, if we're being honest. Yearly, ma <laughs> Yearly maintenance like you're a car? No, I, I, I don't know how much the maintenance is going to be, but it is just one session, so I would be charged for, for one session, however much that is. Um, 
also the like what I'm doing is it's eight sessions and you get one session every like six weeks. So this is gonna last a while. Like how how long is that? Six weeks times eight, forty eight weeks. It's almost a whole year. Alex, his bet. Excuse me, Hurdle. Um, honestly, da, da, da. So I, to I, was kinda, I was kind of. I'm sub. I was kind of zoned brother. out. How you doing? I was kind of zoned out, so I can't even like answer the question of why my teammate did something. Yo, what's up, Silver? Thank you for the prime. Oh my god, 42 months, my goat, my goat. <laughs> uh, that'd be so funny, Emmanuel. In reality, I'm going to assume one appointment is probably like, I don't even know, not that much money. I'll definitely ask about that. I'll definitely ask about that. Um... When I go in tomorrow. About the yearly maintenance and how much it's gonna it, it would be. But that's like not really four hundred apiece. <laughs> That'd be crazy. God damn. Air dribble bump merchant. Jesus. Get in writing? Hey, what do you got? It's just like one, like that's just laser in general. I don't, I wouldn't even like have to go there. It would just be like one session anywhere. The guy, no, no, this is not, I don't think this is frontal panda. This is a different person. This person is an air dribble bump and low 50 merchant. Good heavens. Bias on all. Bro, I don't think bias is even good enough to go for air dribble bumps. Like, the bias only goes for for bounce dribble shots and and flicks. That's it. That's all. That's all bias has in his locker. Bro, th look at the PFP. I'm pretty sure this is holy avocados. Common Twitch chat moment, being silly. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about. Bro. Yeah, it's literally, it's literally who I said. There's PFPs in Rocket League? Yes. If you're on Steam, you have a PFP. Or like if you're on console. If you're on console, like you would have the PFP of the, like whoever is on the same console as you. No, their name changed because I went to that thing. That happened. It's just like a visual glitch that happens sometimes. I don't know why though, but it happens sometimes. Should've went for that. Bro. Oh, gee. 
Jesus Christ, bro. Okay. What a, what a fun play style. Give me two's games. That's not the same person. That's what getting air dribble bumped feel like. Every time you get air dribble bumped, it feels like you got called a slur. That's tough. That's brutal. What the hell? Is it just stuff like from before? Let's go, W. That's awesome. The hell? Wait, and you... And that's after it being legally changed. That's so weird. Anyway, how's everyone's night going? How's everyone's day? How's everyone's Monday, start of the week? Actually, do y'all consider the start of the week Sunday or Monday? I know some, some people consider Sunday the start of the week. That's weird, though. I can never not see Monday the start of the week. If you think Sunday's the start of the week, then you're banned. Sorry. Friday's the start of the week. Oh, that's a new one. Holiday today, no work. W. You start your last three shifts. Are you excited? Forever green. I think that's good. I, I don't know the content of the song, but it sounds fine. I just, I just spot my teammate. I guess, yeah, my bad. That's what I get for reading chat, I guess. Note to self, never read chat ever. That boost. Only thing I know about Quakers is they make they make some damn good oats. That's what I know. How did you enjoy your experience overall in this job, Emmanuel? Quakers are super chill. What even is a Quaker? I learned about it a while ago, but I just haven't even thought about it in so many years. Are you a fan of Quaker oat scopes? Make some damn good oats and oatmeal. That's, that's what I know for sure. That's not even going to be in. 
Oh, it is. Nice. I, you know, I'm not going to lie. I got to put, like, oatmeal back into my diet. Because oatmeal is, like, pretty good for you. And you can, like, have... It's, like, pretty low sugar, depending on how you have it or make it. Pacifist Christian Mythics. You're going to have to be a little bit more explanatory than that. Just do overnight oats. Why not just oatmeal? What if I want oatmeal? How about that? The oat brand over here is called Uncle Toby's. Of course it is. Stupid. Okay, that's kind of cool, Poivin. Maybe I'll have to look into that more. Learn about them, because that sounds kind of interesting. I've been putting on dinosaur videos recently. That's been my topic of interest in recent times. It's the same shit. No, it's aren't overnight oats like cold. Are you six? Wait, what do you mean? You don't think learning about dinosaurs and how our planet used to be cool? Or you don't think that's cool? Emmanuel's just anti-knowledge. Anti-knowledge. Anti-learning stuff. No, I was watching dino videos like laying in bed before I sleep and stuff. About like what dinosaurs existed during certain time periods and what the world looked like at certain points in time. Someone docks Bryce. Oh, they got that meditation shit on lock. There's been a couple of people in my community talking about meditating. I like the video I watched this morning was called like the most like dangerous time period to live in and it like went over like um the life that lived at the time like the dinosaurs and uh what was living on land and water and all that stuff it's kind of cool top 10 dinos no that's not what i was watching Ah, oh, that's kind of cool. That's pretty cool, Poivin. The universal friend. I like that. Like, before I was watching, like, dinosaur videos and learning about, like, like, the videos will include, like, what, what the land masses looked like at the time. Uh, you know, like, where certain land masses are back then compared to now like what life lived on those land masses like what the temperature was like and stuff like that is like stuff like that is cool to me i like that public universal friend how dare you get their first name wrong but before i was watching videos like this i was watching space videos I was like learning about black holes and singularities and wormholes and all that stuff. It's kind of cool. I like learning about stuff like that. I kind of always have. I didn't hurdle. Is it? Have you tried it? Is it good? That sounds interesting. Open world with a campaign Rocket League map is unbelievable. Insane to me that Lethemir has added more content to Rocket League than the actual creators of the game. I think that's, I just think that's awesome. I just think that's so good, truly.
1200 hours? Okay, that's fucking crazy. Again, you have content creators putting more effort into the game than the actual people who own the game. That's so sad. That's so sad, truly. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I watch, you know, I try not to watch too much YouTube because sometimes I get, like, too caught up in YouTube and I'll, like, not watch shows that I want to watch. Like, I'll watch too much YouTube and then, like, not watch anime or whatever that, like, I've been meaning to finish or watch. And, like, uh, sometimes, like, most of the time, it'll be YouTube videos that aren't even, like, fucking informational or, like, informative or whatever, you know? And if I'm not learning anything and I'm I'm just sitting there mindlessly watching like video game content or something, I don't know. What what is that? Okay. YouTube sucks me in way too much sometimes. It's bad. So I have to like be mindful of that or else or else I will not watch other stuff that I want to watch. Yeah, I, I haven't changed it since you uh, <laughs> I haven't changed it since you made it that. I told you I've literally made my name this like before. Willingly, like, y like, I've been called this like years ago. Pop, plaps, plappington. The silent person is, uh, he's getting my way, huh? Why are you awake? Go the freak to sleep. And stop calling me Popsin. Why are we doing hashtag Bryce? Hashtag Bryce is insane. Hi, Hannah. Non creedal, what does that mean? Hashtag need a pack. Hashtag Bryce is over. How are you doing this fine night, Rue, by the way? Should I crack open a Coke or no? Keep keep it honest with me. Be honest. Be real. Worst stream on the platform is crazy. Veckage for mod, it's wreckage without veckage. Bro, there used to like actually be hashtag campaigns on my chat. If you do command chat stats or exclamation point chat stats, you can see like most used hashtags. And some of them were like when people were trying to get mod. It's kind of crazy. It was so catchy, Vekage. I I had to. Uh, it was so catchy. I had to make you mod. Jordan, 
for a while it wasn't Jordan LCO3 for mod. It was it was free Jordan, I think. Or it might have been unbanned Jordan LCO3, I don't remember. No set system of beliefs. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's how shit should be. Hold on. Sorry for no dark mode. I don't think there is one. Um, I wish you can get rid of mods on this. Or sorry, uh, bots. Um, Peepo T still up there. That's pretty cool. Top commands. Wait, where's the hashtags? Wait, what? Where's the hashtags? Yo, there used to be hashtags. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, wow, that's stupid. What the hell? I guess there's no hashtags anymore. There used to be. That's sad. Schley is a yapper. Not mod for mod. I want VIPM normal. Free Jordan. Free Jordan. <laughs> of course, yeah. That's pretty cool. I'm surprised to hear all this, Poivin, to be honest. I'm very surprised to hear all this, but it's cool. I'm glad to hear that stuff like that does exist. Ban callous goof gob, <laughs> goof gob for mod <laughs> is crazy, Rue. Hi, Ivan. Honestly, Emmanuel, probably. Flip's no longer a command or a thing either. I'm live on YouTube now, by the way. Frick it. I almost forgot to go live. I played two games. Hi, Slades. How are you, sweetie pie? Uh, uh. Get fricked, Shley. Why are you awake? Also, I got it. I can't forget to make my name Papson. Go to sleep. We should ban Callus, though. I told you having a breakdown and you went live. Bitch, you said you were fine. Oh, wait. No, you didn't. You're unbanned? Yay! Um, y'all should like my new C2 video I posted earlier. Drake was in my comment section. I didn't see that. How, how could I have missed that? Y'all should like my newest YouTube video. That would be pretty cool. My, oh wait, that's not the right link. Ignore that one I just posted. Wait, that is the right link. I lied again. Is it? Oh, you're the goat. You're the goat, XTX. Rue, everyone that's not mod, ban them.
Y'all should drop a like and comment on this video right here. And I'll be very happy and I'll say thank you if I'm being honest. If I'm being honest, I'll probably say that. Um, that's a close one, but I feel like Emmanuel and Callis get under my skin in different ways. So that's kind of hard to say. Hi, Nicholas. How are you? Wait, Shlee, wait, y'all were watching sub? Ew. Ivan, what? Can I ban you? No. Can we get 10 likes? Oh, never mind. We're at 10 likes. Let's freaking go. If y'all, dude, look how long it took me to beat the fire giant. I started fighting the fire giant at two hours and two minutes. And I didn't beat the fire giant until three hours and 32 minutes. It literally took me an hour and a half to beat that motherfucker. Hello, Alex. How are you? Why are you sleeping? Why can't I not ban you? I don't know. Why would I? Can we play? No, I'm just playing some ranked right now. I feel like you cheesed. I beat him with a great sword. Level 19, I think. How many times did I lose to the cartwheelers? Just one time, unfortunately. And it was painful. It's funny because that one time losing to the cartwheelers was probably more painful than all those deaths to the fire giant because I lost 120,000 runes when I died to the cartwheelers. So honestly, that one death from the cartwheelers is probably worse. That shirt. Oh, you rocking with it? Look, check out the shirt. Check out the shirt. Ooh, we got the Dragon Ball Z. Oh my god, Mishy. Mwah. How are you? Can I be your teacher? What? You need Jesus? You need to do something that I can't say because of TOS reasons. You call you call Mish Muscle Mish now? Hell yeah, like Muscle Man. You're stroking it. Nice. Uh, good. Good job. Me three. Me two. It was all me. What can I say? I'm not a coach, I'm sorry. What can I say? I'm just so motivational. I'm the reason Mish got all his muscles. What can I say? All me. This guy's name is one letter away from something real bad. We should play some twos. <laughs> Interesting. Do you actually still play Rocket League at like a decent, decently high level? I see you've been playing Clash, by the way, W. I'm so close to maxing Town Hall 13. I can taste it. So close. Ruse pulling an old Mishy. You're 1624. Oh, we're actually like almost the same rank right now. Uh, yeah, let's try again. That'll be fun. Sex Tua. Bro, you gotta get banned.
Okay, maybe Emmanuel gets under my skin more. I decided wreckage. Um, I think someone named Vecit. I think someone named Vecage lol hard through my rank like 70 MMR when I was 1700. That's my excuse. A manual for perma tier three. Ain't no fucking way. Excuse me, Poison? What rank am I? Platinum. If I played with you, I would D rank many ranks. Ah. Dude, I'm gonna play at least one game with Mishi because I haven't played with Mishi in like two years, at least three years, maybe. We should play again? No, I, I'm i good. Thank you, though. I'm flat, too. Well, not plat like number two, like T-O-O. -O. I'm only plat one. I'm excited for Spooktober, y'all. I'm, I'm excited. I'm going to like... No promises, but I'm going to do my best to try to play spooky games, like, almost every night. Every night of October, I'm going to try... Well, every stream, whatever you want to say. Every stream, every night, whatever. I'm going to try to play um, at least, like, one session of, like, a spooky game. Like a, like a Halloween Halloween-themed type game. I already have like four games lined up, ready to go. If I unadded you on Steam, it was either years ago when we were like not cool, or you like changed your name to something silly and I didn't know who you were and just unadded you. Because I, I went through and cleaned up my friends list not that long ago. Why is YouTube chat not showing up on the screen? Well, no, I feel like I wouldn't unadd you just because you weren't on. Because, like, I don't know. You're someone I've known forever. I don't know. Def GC or something? No, I told you. I'm plat. Plat one. Femboy? No, I'm not a femboy. What the hell exists? This? You can see it? Wait, is YouTube chat showing up on the chat box? I don't think it is. Holy shit. That's a crazy open net width. Let me take it. Ah, oh, you can see Plow on. I don't think bot tricks connected yet or something. Is Rocket League popular? Um, somehow, yeah, but it's not as popular as it used to be, to be honest. Like, I was surprised on my YouTube recommend that I saw, like, XQC made a video about RLCS. 
Like, I, I, I'm surprised that creators like that big are still, like, even have Rocket League on their radar. Botrix is very connected. Yeah, it hasn't connected yet. I mean, it connected last stream. What's up, Frosty? What's up, Havish, by the way? Alpha Boost? Yes, it's back as mod. Oh, did they say some other weird shit? Femboy 2. Interesting. Bay, I love you. You my main bitch. Fuck a wedding ring. Interesting. Your lobby is pretty fast. It's not a plat lobby. All right, fine. You got me. I'll show you my ranks in a second. Muscle mission pipsqueak tabs dig the field. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Miss, add me on. Uh, add me on Steam. Just do command Steam. Some Rido, Rido. Yeah, it's be pretty weird when people say stuff like that regardless, Boyvin. Who's this random who raided? Did we get an Emmanuel GE raid? What would Emmanuel GE stream? Emmanuel GE would stream FIFA, and in between, like, getting mad at, like, FIFA games, he would pop on over to, like, DraftKings or whatever and do, like, DraftKing bets and then pop back into uh, Ultimate Team. Citra? His name's Citra. Mish. Bored as shit watching you. Rude, did you answer me about should I have a Coke? Yes or no? The fuck I look like a girl for? What do you mean look like? I mean, you answered your own question. Oil up? No. Do I like Rocket League? You got banned? Why do you get banned? Have a Coke? Fuck it. Alright, I'll do it. You convinced me. Be normal is hard for some YouTube chatters. Uh, it's like those. It's like that clip. Vekage, have you seen that clip of Nade shot? <laughs> have y'all seen that clip of Nade shot where he's like, he's like, all right, guys, last game. I'm not playing anymore after this. I, I got to get off. Like, I can't play anymore after this. And his friend was like, dude, just play one more. He's like, all right, fine, I'll play one more. <laughs> the chat, the comments are like, bro folded under no pressure. Hold on. Nade shot, folding, no pressure. Bye, <laughs> right, gentlemen. It's so good. I'll show the YouTube as well. All right, gentlemen. That was my last one, unfortunately. Wait, no, one more. One no, more. I'll play one more. I bet. All right, bet. bet. <laughs> Resign. Thanks for the. <laughs> thanks for the. <laughs> Bro, he, he, he folded so fast. He just wanted. He just wanted to be wanted. All right, gentlemen. Just, that was my last one, unfortunately. He just wanted to be more, wanted. No, I'll play one more. I bet. I bet. That was the Resign. Thanks for the. Thanks for the. He just wanted to be wanted, bro. Honestly, I don't blame him. He just wanted. He just wanted them to want him to play. You know. Honestly, I respect that. Hold on. All right, let's get back into gaming. But I gotta invite Mishy. I actually haven't 
Shlee, if I win one more, you get your points back. So this is up to Mishy right here. I've been winning. So if I lose and you don't get your points back, blame Mishy. Imagine he whipped it out and started stroking it too. <laughs> no, that would be something I show meat would do though, literally. Chump chains, okay. Who do you think you are flexing like that? Wait, Rue, did you see that video I tagged you in? In Discord earlier? I can't lie, I don't know, dude. I feel like the last two times that Shalee has requested like a name change or like a requested a car preset, like I don't, I win all the games. Maybe you're good luck. What's up, duck? I show meat mentioned. It's still surreal that we live in a timeline where that actually happens. It's truly surreal. Bros, bros whole meat fell out of that. Out of the pajama pants. Why I got a llama topper? It's fucking me up. I don't know. And we're all worse for it. The time something happens. Something happened to our timeline then. And we saw Ludwig's balls. Oh yeah, I forgot that we saw Ludwig's balls too. Wasn't the Ludwig balls though? What was the context behind that again? You're out of the loop. What happened? Oh, you are. You just aren't tapped in. You're not tapped into the latest news and drama. On the first thought, why are we talking about meat? We're talking about I show meat. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this freak? He said, Mishy, are you brain dead? End it all. I want to be the reason you do. Like, what the fuck? What a psychopath. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? I wish Mishy demoed him. That would have been awesome. <laughs> what a fucking freak, bro. He's still winning, too. He's still winning. There's only one goal. What a psycho. Slog just... Talk about, like, unstable. Bro. Lol. Freaky? I'd say it's more than freaky. I'm trolling, Mishy. Don't end it. You end it. Oh, it got it got changed to me. It got changed to me. N Mishy no longer has to end it. I do. What? <laughs> what a fucking weirdo. <laughs> Dude, I can I just know that there's steam coming out of this guy's ears. Oh, it's a goal probably. Oh. Never mind. I love it. How do you get like how do you get that angry at one goal? It's honestly kind of impressive. <laughs> uh, oh, 
shit. I should end it all. I mean, these gotta be like 12 year olds or some shit, right? I mean, I don't know. That's just crazy. Oh, my bad. Oh, never mind. Calculated. Artensis Tuturu. Thanks for oh the Oh my god. Up. Love Bro, you. Bro, I'm playing a 2v2 game with Mishy and Cammy Whammy Bammy Slammy is dropping a sub. What year is this? What year is it? Cammy Whammy Bammy Slap Your Mammy. Thank you for the prime. As always, I appreciate you. I love you. How are you doing today? 63 freaking months. Actually insane. Actually insane. You are awesome. The Paps Rage. Yeah, that's not making a return, fortunately. There will never, ever, ever be Paps Rage like there used to be. Why did he leave right away? I wanted him to say some more stuff. What's up, JJ? What am I being for Halloween? I don't know. I definitely want to do some sort of like a cosplay, though. What should I cosplay for Halloween, y'all? Any suggestions? Turtle Hermits, five years. Bro, Turtle Hermits? Oh my god, bro. Believe it or not, Turtle Hermits was more than... It was like five and a half years ago. That's disgusting to think about. Wait, oh my god. Wait, Rue, maybe you're right. He was saying it in a nice way. Get up and flip, you old dinosaur. Should I do it? Should I flip for the one time? Should I flip for the one time, y'all? No, nah, that's not even a time off. That's just a ban. You know, I'm out of here. Deadpool? Oh, that'd be a cool one, Nexus. See if I can still? Are you kidding me? See if I can still? You know damn well I can still flip like a champ. I don't know how much. Wait, hold on. How much of the bed can you see so I know where to flip? I'll turn the chat box off for a second. Actually, I can leave it on. You can see through it. You, th you think I don't got it still? You think I don't got it still? Crazy. You think I don't got it? That's crazy. What is this video? One v one. I hate this video. Against my no! mod with one v one against my no! mod with no boosting allowed. This is a so bad. You're so cringe. Fuck off. Actually, so toxic for that You're though. So Actually, air dribble bumping me when I wasn't allowed to use boost is crazy. A backflip? Oh my god, no. What the hell? I'm not a fucking gymnast. God damn. I look like Chris Tyson. Thanks. She's beautiful. I appreciate it. You just looked in. What do I not got? What do I not got? 
I just did a flip onto my bed. Give me your points back. That's actually crazy. Should have dodged it. I should have flip canceled. Oh, wait. I just took your points, Lee. I'm not going to lie. I just did it. Force a habit. You get a free name change. You get one more free name change. What do you want me to change it to? I'm miserable? Me? What? You're going to give me a sub? Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Pretty good for a female is crazy. I didn't mean to, to take your points, but you get one more free name change. Okay. My bad. Oh. I got you, I got you. Do I host tournaments? No, not really, no. You work today? Oh yeah, that's really good. YouTube chat seems toxic. Oh, they're really toxic sometimes, yeah. YouTube chat is still in, in the process of being like filtered out to be not weird fucks. It's been a years long process on Twitch, so we're working on it. Becky, do you want me to just have that be my name so bad? I know you do. You're not toxic? No, no, no. Talking about the other person. Some people are just like... JJ's right. Some people are just miserable as fuck. Some people are miserable as fuck and they just like... They think it's like funny to just like hate on entire groups of or like make fun of and mock entire groups of people it's like humor to them crazy name you're og you really are og that pfp too mishy is so crazy og as fuck Chuck the Duck 434 is a crazy name. Really, Emmanuel? Why is my teammate getting clicked like that right there? What the fuck happened? You made that shit when you were like 13 years old. That's kind of crazy. Grupster. <laughs> Popsh. Wait, you're saying actually make my name Popsh? I know. Mel crazy that Melodic Misery made that iconic clip. What a shot. That was lucid. They're not even... <laughs> Chuck the Duck and Grubster7. <laughs> That's awesome. I didn't even... I didn't even notice Grubster7. My eyes were immediately... My eyes were immediately magneted towards Chuck the Duck. Grubster7 slipped under the radar for me. Uh-oh. I save. Mishy, you know what PFP I miss you having? <laughs> you know, you're... You know this is a hellhole 1600 when names can be anything. <laughs> Cheddar Knight 23. <laughs> That's not my team. What the hell? I 
can't reach that. Nice. I would never team with Grubster7. What the hell? It's my mortal enemy. It's my 2v2 opponent. There is no fucking way Chuck the Duck is pre-flipping that. That is so fucking psychotic. I can't believe it. That is so wild. Jesus Christ. Such a wild pre-jump or pre-flip. I'm still shook. I'm still shook from the Chuck the Duck. No, I could have scored that. Oh my god, bro. These challenges. There's, these challenges are so reckless. It's just like constant, like, if they don't touch it, it's a goal for us challenges. Low reward, high risk challenges. Bro. Horrible. I should have put that on target. I suck. Let's do this. That works. I missed the boost somehow. Cool. Horrible, horrible touch yet again. What's new? My teammate actually beats to that because that was a horrible touch from them. Chuck the duck is passing me the ball. I follow this. I grab the... Oh. I got spun out. Teammate. Oh, that's not the best touch. That was like the worst possible touch my teammate could have made. Unlucky. Wait, hold on. Troll kickoff from them. I got the bump. My teammate just has to beat Chuck the Duck. Tragic, bro. Actually, actually insane loss. I want to make my name. Rubster 8. Night Poivin. It's okay. I'll handle it. No worries. Thank you for your help, though. Hey, I appreciate the sub, Weller Squad. Thanks. Again, Vekaj, are we ignoring the fact that I got to this MMR by playing with you? I feel like we're, we're continuing to leave, leave that little tidbit out. Because I throw. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, if I recall correctly, I was told that you... Uh, you tilt, you lost all the way down to 1500s. 
and you beat Vekage that same night well, and Vekage had a teammate, that's also true. I then also beat you later in the night when you were queuing with someone. That's tough. Now what, bitch? What's up, Heavenly Stevens? What's up, Faisal? The Vekage ego of recent times needs to be needs to be studied, dissected. That's just not how Rocket League works. How long I've been streaming, like today or in general? Damn, I got a 50 there. Good night, Shli. Love you. I hope when you wake up, you feel better. Cross is the ideal player. Cross is like a turbo pulsive type player. A monkey moon type player. Cool. I was so bad at work. You wanna play with me? No, no, thank you. I use a PS5 controller. If I was a pro player style, I would be uh, Zen because I'm so mechanical gliding across the field. <laughs> I'm pushing I'm pushing the barrier every day for what you can do in this game. Wait, was was today Jimmy Carter's birthday actually? Bro, that picture of of Jimmy Carter next to like Joe Biden is so funny. That's one of my favorite pictures of all time. I'll be honest. Please tell me that y'all know what I'm talking about. I can't believe I'm losing with a pro player right now. It's crazy. I can't believe the pro player is in 1600. Some pro players just let their rank go, I guess. You hate how it's so competitive? You hate how what's com competitive? 
Bro, er, okay, speaking of Gibbs playstyle, do we remember how they're like used to like actually be goalies in Rocket League? Like some teams would actually play with goalies. Like back when our like our uh, Rocket League comp stuff was like first happening. Like one of their strategies was literally to have, you know, people like, you know, playing the game normally and playing offense. And then you'd have you'd have a goalie. That's so crazy. I love that. I love that that used to be a thing. That strat would work today. Do, depending on how mobile the goalie stayed, yeah, I guess. People are really good mechanically, so like defense has improved quite a bit, but you would have to make sure the people that aren't playing goalie are at least like forcing challenges and forcing shots and stuff. That's a horrible touch. Oof. To actually give the person in net a chance to like not get like constantly like just bumped and stuff. I feel like if that play style existed today, the goalie would just be getting like bumped and demoed like crazy. I don't know. I don't think it I don't think it could work. It's a horrible save. I don't know, man. I'm gonna fucking shoot myself in the fucking head in game. That was a horrible way to lose. On that game. If I left me your map, no, I'm good. You've contacted Spoot to do for me, thanks. I guess I'm deranking even more. Who cow? I don't know, like, I don't know how much I enjoy, like, Workshop. So I guess I could try it. Can you send a link to it? I'll download it. Mectos? I haven't played against him in so long. The Big Grub? Who up touching the Grub Worm? How the fuck did my bump do nothing there? Okay. I'm getting fucking zap dashed recovery done by someone in a fucking ripper. I guess. I've only played Roblox one time and I played Doors. And I have not played since. I didn't even beat it. I could have scored that. He gave me a fucking open net. Nice. We in for a long stream tonight? Uh, I don't know. I have an appointment tomorrow at tw I have an appointment at 12 p.m. So I can't really stay on too late. God damn. God damn, god damn. Very, very interesting decision making here. I do a manual, unfortunately. 
Put some family guy on the side, Rue. GG. It's not over yet. This is 1v1. This could change in a second. Why do I feel like everyone who uses a Ripper is a freestyler? Anyone get that? Anyone agree? I think if you, I think if you use a Ripper, it means you can quadruple flip reset. Look at that. Look at that flick. That's a freestyler flick. I'm going to breezy flick this. Unfortunately, he saved it. That was a pretty good breezy flick, too. Oh. I was such a bad challenge from him, and I just did not have the flick to punish it. Sucks. Unfortunate. Losing to a Ripper? Nah, bro. I'm telling you, Rippers are crazy low-key. Can you want to be on me? No, sorry. You love Family Guy? Family Guy can be really funny sometimes. Even still today, I laugh at Family Guy sometimes, but it has its really bad moments. Nice shot. Thanks. Look at that. This guy is a freestyler on God. I'm telling you. You think so, Cross? <laughs> Pretty good. It won't cut it. Okay. Hi, Callus. Do something silly or what should I do? What's up, King Gamer? Yeah, this guy's a freestyle, I can tell. Guy's definitely a freestyle team. I just know it. Watch this, I'm getting quadruple flip. I told you, bro, this guy's on a freestyle team. Look at that. <laughs> I told you, bro. No way this guy's not a montage. What if I got my flip reset there? How could you tell? I think that's what baffles me most about lower ranked 1v1 is the people that just like do stuff to do it. Like, I know it's a thing in like obviously like every rank of, of every game game mode but 1v1 players who just do stuff to do it and don't like actually like have a plan or like a meaningful touch or meaningful play i don't know i don't know how else to describe it it's just like nonsense touches that will like actually work on me because like it's like i don't expect it like me yeah kind of like you that's a good way to put it how can you tell someone when you can't even flip reset a power shot makes you? How can you tell if someone's a freestyler when you can't even flip reset a power? There is no way that fucking cross X bones is trying to come at me for my max. Freestyle one v one right now. Do a Joe Biden flick. Is that where I just like my car explodes and I get I die or something? What's up, Andrea? How are you? 1v1 freestyle show match against Cross X Bones right now, live on stream.
Bro, you have to understand, Dominus players are either like forward freestyle champions or they hardly air roll. There's no in between. I'm just keeping it real with you. You're so fine. You're so... Well, I'm not going to say you're so fine, but thanks. Jamaican coconut vibes. Jamaican coconut actually has pretty good max. I can't lie. Sean TV, though. That is... That is someone I cannot vouch for. But Jamaican Coconut actually has pretty good mechs. I'm like almost certainly not playing Elden Ring today, by the way. Again, I have a, um, I have an appointment at 12 p.m. tomorrow, so. I'm not going to have time, probably. Paps Ranktal? I used to do Ranktal a little bit. I'm actually pretty good at Ranktal. Dominus Toretto, bro. I forgot he existed. Why'd you have to remind me? Nice shot. Yeah, I couldn't save it. What's up, XTG? He's so bad, bro. Dominus Toretto. I remember one time Dominus Toretto like rage quit on my team when I was already on like a huge tilt queue, like losing so many games. And I like po posted a tweet about it. Like Dominus Toretto needs to quit the fucking game or something. And like 60 people liked it. I ended up deleting it because I felt bad and it was mean. It was mean and it was like, just about fucking Rocket League. But it was, it's crazy how many people, crazy how many people have experience with Dominus Toretto in the rank, in the ranked playlist. He's a yapper. I don't think I've ever, like, I don't remember him ever chatting, but I feel like I also haven't played with or against him in years, so. That massive throw for my teammate should have been a goal. That's such a ridiculous fucking pre-jump challenge, bro. People just be just be doing shit. Should be a goal. I'm about to say, bro. Hi, Spartan. Wait, why are you saying that? I didn't get any Scoopy. Bro, how the fuck? Okay. What just ha- Like, the ball just pushed- Like, pinched me off. Did I get bummed? I must have got bummed. Wait, he still plays, Cal? That is news to me that Dominus Toretto still plays the game. Anyone got a fucking light? I need a I need a fucking cigarette. What? Like bro, what is this playstyle? Who is teaching people to play like this? I need to know. Am I also live on Twitch? Yes. I'm going to find the coach teaching people to play the game like this. I need to find him. Something's got to be done.
Cooter just raided with 37 viewers. Yo, Cooter! Oh, I got a rage monster on my team. Let's go. Yo, thank you for the raid of 37. How was your stream? How are you? Thank you, thank you. How was your stream? How are you? How's the vibes? I thought that was a goal. I was going to type to him. How was your stream? How are the vibes? How was your sesh? I hope everything went well. Thank you for spreading the love. Mac, thank you for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, they're throwing. Is this plat elo? Yes, this is plat one. No cigarettes, but you uh, got some bud. Good luck on the game. <laughs> okay. What a baby. <laughs> he said, I don't like you. And I said, I really care. And he said, good luck on the game and abandoned. Okay. Let's see if I can still win this. I don't think I'm gonna. We were winning, yeah. Talk about a baby, bro. That's gotta be like a child. Surely. Hi, Mittens. How are you? Great video game. Average Rocket League, uh, average Rocket League player, to be honest. He tried to forfeit. I scored. After he tried to forfeit, so I just said, relax. And then he said, I don't like you. So I said, I really care. And then he said, all right, good luck on the game. And then abandoned. It has got to be like a 12-year-old, bro. Your SSL? Oh, I'm uh, SSL 2. SSL, not like TOL, like 2, like the rank above SSL. That's the most plat thing I've ever seen. I know, it's crazy. Such a plat thing to do, to be honest. Hey, I appreciate you, Cooter. Thank you for the raid. Get some good food. I appreciate you spreading the love and the vibes. Have a freaking good one. Shout out to Cooter. Shout out to Cooter. That's awesome to say that. I know you wouldn't miss you. Oh, probably, Emmanuel. Yeah, now that I think about it. That sound, it sounds like someone who's got their life together. That's for sure. <laughs> Cooter raid! I love that. Olympic. Oh, yeah, absolutely. By the way, hi, Hen Dude. Hi, Mike. Hi, y'all. Hi, y'all. Devoted to Latinas. Crazy name. If you're average, I'm quitting. Don't quit. Everyone starts somewhere, right? Jordan. Hey, Bye, Middens. Appreciate you. Love you. Thanks for vibing for a little bit. It was nice to see you. I'm glad glad to see you still around and vibing and stuff. I hope you've been doing well. You hate being SSL? Ugh. This is so tiring. Damn. I spit out my water. Ryan Simpson, faceless anonymous profile, classic. Yeah, that's just what I wanted. Oh, 
Appreciate you, Mittens. Being SSL is just so hard and so, so tough, you know? Oh. Just like, you know, being SSL, like, that was an SSL play right there. It's such a, it's such a struggle. No, I don't know who that is. Hacker. It's okay, Spartan. Like, honestly, when I think of a confident, well-adjusted, happy person, I think, okay, yeah, someone that's all of those things is probably going online and bullying random people. That's what I think, personally. How would I know? Someone docks a manual GE. Hi, Greer. How are you, sweetie? Damn. No one healthy and happy is playing Rocket League. That's got to be. There's got to be one person, surely. What's up, Sniper Fest? Hey, don't forget, if you're in the YouTube stream, don't forget to drop a like on the live stream. And don't forget to drop a subscription to the channel. Both of those things help me out a lot. And I really appreciate it. I thought I got that over them. There you go, Emmanuel. Cross. Hmm. Interesting. Not playing Fallout is just depriving yourself of a good game. There's a reason Fallout's loved. This motherfucker has the cat... Cat engine sounds. I kind of love it. Devoted to Latinas with the... Flower boost and cat engine sound is outrageous. Why are you diving for that like that? That's so awesome. I love that. I love that so much. Wait, PSN is down? I love GC1, 1v1 so much. It's so much fun to play. <sighs> yes, Greer? All right! Sad stuff. I I guess I'm not scoring that unfortunately. <laughs> what did he just do? We'll take it. Hey, appreciate you, Mike. Have a good one. Get some good sleep. Thanks for vibing for a little bit. God damn it, bro. I got no ice, no clutch. Oh my God, bro. Actually no ice, no clutch for real. Damn. Fuck.
miss so I can score an open net, please. Pogo air dribble bump is a new one. I can't lie. You came at a bad time. Why? Shli is not over today, Tay. She's out. She's home. Shafted? Not really. All right, I can slow on this. Come on, come on. Is this replays? Bro, the only people I've played in 1v1 today have been going for just constant low 50s and air dribble bumps. It's so, so boring. So boring. So silly. I believe in you, Mike. You got this. I feel like I've been playing Bias every game. Except, I don't think Bias goes for Edible Bums. What's up, Feeble? Like, I'm, I don't think Bias is good enough to go for Edible Bums. He always goes for the bounce dribbles and flicks. That's fucked up. I'm just keeping it real. Why are you so concerned about it, Cal? What is, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? Were you looking to ask me on a date or something? What, what's good? It's okay, Tay. You know, you gotta start somewhere. Nice shot. Thanks. I think, uh, I don't know if I'm positive despite everything. I don't know. I feel like I'm, uh, I feel like I'm even right now. Hi, Eclipse. Emmanuel, how about you watch some new shit that you've been meaning to watch and stop wasting your time re-watching stuff? You should, you should re-watch stuff maybe like after you watch new stuff. What's up, RL Slime? How are you? That's what I've been doing. Like, I've been meaning to re-watch stuff too. But I've been re-watching stuff in between watching new stuff. I already finished Demon Slayer, Gim. I do gotta watch My Hero, though. I need to watch My Hero Season 6 and Season 7. I can't believe I missed two seasons of My Hero. You mean My Hero, Josiah? You wanted to watch Seinfeld? Fuck Seinfeld. Nice, no toxic live. Um, I definitely can be like toxic sometimes. I don't know, I try not to be though. I feel like I'm usually pretty, uh, I feel like I'm usually pretty, pretty measured nowadays. Should I, ca should I catch up on One Piece, watching the season with President more content, or the rewatch Tokyo Ghoul? You should watch a short anime and then watch One Piece. That's what you should do, Spartan. What's my MMR currently? Uh, in 2.16.22 it says. 
Hello, yeah, I get that ball. Hell yeah, Austin. God damn, Jerry, what do you do? Are you a Seinfeld enjoyer, Nicholas? Curb better. I've heard a lot of people say curb your enthusiasm is better. I haven't watched it. Like, okay. I have, don't think I've ever watched a Curb Your Enthusiasm episode, but I have seen like many Seinfeld episodes, obviously, but I never like have watched it, you know, front to back. I'm pretty sure when Seidfeld was airing, uh, Jerry Seinfeld had like a 16 year old girlfriend when he was like 40 or something. That was kind of crazy. Some of those emotes, the emotes go hard. She was, she was 17 and he was 38. Oh, I was close. Yeah, it's pretty disgusting. It's like the fucking, in the anime that I'm currently watching, they have one part where they like marry off a 14 year old to like a 24 year old. And it's like, Jesus Christ, bro. Like, why? Like, I just don't, un like, like, it's like a highly acclaimed anime to Violet Evergarden, for those of you wondering. They try to say some shit like love has no boundaries or something. Like, bro, what are you, ta you are talking about a full grown adult marrying a actual child. Is it set in medieval times? It's set in like, uh, it's like a fictional timeline, but I think it's supposed to be like World War One, World War Two. Either way, it wouldn't matter. It's a fucking anime. It's fiction. You don't have to be writing some fucking supposed to be love story about a fucking child marrying an adult. It's gross. Seven Deadly Sins is also gross, but like in a, it's like a different way. Violet Evergarden is like grounded in reality. There's no like superpowers and shit. Unfortunately, Tay, it's gross. Your si Nicholas is a Seinfeld fan. Yeah, but streaming and being a pedo is crazy. True. Yeah, I guess that would that would be crazy. I look passive. Yeah, I mean. I guess, yeah, but I think like, you know, even doesn't matter the time period. Like, I find it really hard to believe that pedophiles were not looked down upon in some fashion, even in the older times. Like, I find it really hard to believe that people just stood around as like, you know, adults married like actual fucking like preteens and like weren't disgusted by it in some capacity. Even if it was normalized to some level. I hate this game. 
You're talking about me? Oh, really? I'm a pedophile? Why am I a pedophile? In ancient Greece, they had boys lovers. I mean, regardless of the gender, pedophilia is fucking disgusting. Seven Deadly Sins started so good. It actually dropped off so hard. Retail is the same way. It's so weird. It's so like weird how it's like just like a nor oh my god, that was weird. It's so weird how it's like a normalized trope in in so many animes. It's like I try my hardest to avoid shit like that. I was not expecting it in Violet Evergarden because it's like so like you would think such a highly acclaimed high rated anime would not have some weird ass shit like that in it. I guess that's kind of true cross. Yeah. Yeah. Trust me, Tay. I know. Is it good? I think. I think Violet Evergarden is good, yes, but it's, you know, that is a part about it that I can't, like, you know, you can't ignore. It's pretty fucking weird, pretty fucking gross. What's up, C. Murray? Oh my god. I don't know about that one, but thanks. No spoilers? I mean, it's not really a spoiler. It's just about, like, the... Problematic age gap in the anime. It's kind of hard to look past. Why is that, Cal? Oh, you saw you saw my response, Tay. Of course. And get good and play Elden Ring. I already am, like, I'm, like, 60 hours into an Elden Ring run right now. Soccer Wesley! Holy shit. I just realized Callus. Pedo shit? Like, they marry off a 14-year-old to a 24-year-old. Yeah, it's gross. And it's like supposed to be like some love story and like heartfelt and stuff. It's like really, like it's impossible to get behind. It's supposed to be like some, some like love has no barrier or some shit. And the whole time I'm just like, Jesus fucking Christ, this is horrible. Not to mention the main character. And the person that's a love interest for them 14 and 29 Elden Ring is my is my first first souls like I've ever played so I'm just enjoying it, you know? I'm still on my my first run, no new game or anything. 
I'm um I just made it to I I'm, I'm exploring the consecrated snow field. That's the part of the game I'm in. Your main character is based off Joe Biden. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, ROA. It's really it's really weird. Like it it's sad because the anime is such beautiful animation, some good characters, some good stories. But then it just has to have some like weird ass shit shit in it like that to fucking sour it. Oh, I'm trolling. Jesus Christ. Did I beat Malekith? I haven't played since last time I played on stream. I made it to to crumbling Feyre Missoula, but I I haven't uh, I, I haven't even beat the Godskin duo yet. I made it to them, and I tried them one time, but I wasn't even meaning to to fight them. I was just exploring, and I happened to cross the the boss area. Honestly, I almost, uh, I actually almost kind of beat it. Not really. I went into it with like three flasks and I took the, I took the fat Godskin guy to, um, I took him to like half health. So why am I in Consecrated Snowfield? Because like, why not? It's not like you have to do one in a specific order. I forgive you, Vekage. I only hate you a little bit because of it. I hate you a little bit because of it, but I love you a lot of it because I do. I love you more than I hate you. Tough, man. Truly. God's can do us tough. It's a Bioxy. No, right now GC2. Age is the only thing that matters in Aspect to Live? What do you mean by that? Like you're saying... Oh my goodness. Peak. the hell, bro? My 1,500 3v3 teammate doing shit like that is crazy. Callus' dad is the type of person that is like, well, anxiety is not real. So like, just be confident. Stop being nervous. Just don't do it. It's not hard. Get the fuck out of my way! Just don't be anxious. Just don't have anxiety. Just don't be self-conscious. It's really not that hard. Just don't do it. I don't care. This game's crazy. It's kind of crazy that I had a fucking... My GC1 teammate is freestyling across the map with me. But, you know, it is what it is. I've actually been winning in 3v3 recently. Callus and I played the other day and went plus 100 in one session. Literally, like, don't know how it happened. Callus and I have never done that ever. But it happened, and ever since then, I've been, I've been doing well in threes. I'm, like, out of, like... I'm out of the... Uh, the unplayable range for solo queue.
Hey, you too, William. What else matters except age? Well, I mean, like, t like obviously, typically in a relationship, like, interests, you know, uh, attraction, all that stuff. But you mean, like, a boundary? Yeah, obviously, age is a huge one. Callus does not want a bodybuild like a man. Cal? You know what, Cal? 1500's a lot worse. That's for sure. Trust me, I know. I tried to solo queue it. Not fun. You're going to be Toji. No, you're not. You suck. Sorry. Oh. Oh, I could have went for that. Need boost. God, man. Who is fucking coaching these 2v2 players? I need to have a word with them. Dude, I gotta catch up on Jujutsu Kaisen, man. I'm gonna catch up on my hero first and then Jujutsu Kaisen. These people are brain dead. Just ignore them, bro. It's not worth Like, just know. Just know that people that are hateful, transphobic, all those weirdos, they're just a loud minority. The majority of people aren't like that, bro. Like, to get to that point, to get to that point where you're, like, being transphobic as fuck, saying weird shit online, like, you're already a weird-ass person, you know? Just ignore that shit. Don't, let, don't let it bother you. KBM Jerry just shared 50 bits. I promise you, I don't let it bother me. So don't let it bother you, you know? Like... Who gives a fuck what, like, insecure weirdos say online? Insecure, hateful weirdos. Oh my goodness. How to play. Yo, KBM Jerry, thank you for the 50 bits. I come on your stream and you're talking about Stanley every time. Bro, what are you talking about? I was literally responding to a chat. The hell? Are you just like lurking and waiting for me to talk about it? That's literally the first thing I said about it this stream. <laughs> this motherfucker's just lurking and waiting. Hi, Frosty. I'm just too old to adapt. I guess so. Why did Monkey Moon win then? You haven't even watched JJK? It's good. What's up? Doctor Gets the Poop. What a name. I didn't realize. Oh, Will, Will Stein, the anonymous no PFP YouTube account. Um... Yeah, your personal anecdote just simply does not reflect the actual data. Just being real with you, buddy. Just being real with you. Uh, your personal story doesn't represent the actual like population. Sorry about that.
go outside like I'm being honest. It's funny. It's funny when people say that because literally every time I go outside and like interact with other people, people are always so nice and I get compliments like all the time. Like I don't like I think you need to go outside. That's all it's like it's always projection. You need to go outside and actually like experience and talk to real people. To call transphobia a minority thing ain't it? Okay. Let's look up the study real quick after this game. I mean, that's where it always stems from, Doctor Gets the Poot. It always stems from insecurity. It always stems from fear. It stems from just like, just hatred. Just like hatred for no reason. We ain't got the same free time as you. <laughs> Hi, Ryan. Like, it's like literally the interactions I have with people IRL compared to online are com like night and day. People are so polite and nice IRL. Like, almost always. <laughs> it's funny. Thanks, Mowu. Last pyro is needed. Just because you don't understand it doesn't mean me be hateful. Also, like, bro, no, nobody's identifying as a cat. Like, are you talking about furries? Uh, that's not what being a furry is. They have Vekage. You're giving me the honest truth, bro. No, you're not. Like, you think you are. You're just literally saying some rant. First of all, you said a, you called me a slur, said a slur. And you also are just talking about a, uh, an anecdote that literally doesn't represent the actual data of IRL. Like, you, like, are just saying your own shit and doesn't reflect the actual stats. Just so you know. Dear God, not the furries, bro. Who fucking cares about furries? Like, genuinely. You have people that crawl off towards your school and bark at you? No, you don't, bro. Like, why are you making that up? Why do people... Like, I never understand why people just, like... I mean, well, that's, like, a... For a lot of people, that's just what they do. They just make stuff up to get mad at. They, like, create these imaginary scenarios in their head and they get angry at them. If that's what I need to tell myself. Okay, hold on. Hold on, Will. Please don't leave, Will. I got you. I got you, Will. Please don't leave. Okay, hold on. This is a study. This is literally a study from 2022 so two years ago two years ago and um two years ago percent saying they would support laws or policies that would protect transgender people from di discrimination in jobs housing and public spacing 64 percent of people strongly favor or favor. 25% of people don't care. 10% of people strongly oppose or oppose. So again, 
you're in the minority. You are in the minority, literally, statistically, and factually speaking. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, you, your viewpoints, your bullshit does not represent the overwhelming majority of the population. So I don't know, like, what fucking scenario you're making up in your head. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, like, what um, um, made up facts or made up shits in your head. But again, you just don't. You're just in the minority. Let's see. Um, let's read your first chat. Let's read your first chat. I am an American blue-collar worker, and I can tell you I don't know anyone who supports tea slurs out of thousands of people I've worked with. I don't know anyone that supports tea slurs. That's a slur, by the way. Out of, like, thousands of people. Supports. Again, seems like the overwhelming majority of people support transgender people and support them against discrimination and equal. So what's up with that? So you're, again, you're statistically proven wrong. What's the group size on that poll? Oh, we're changing the goalposts now. Oh, so first you said you didn't... You do support trans rights. Now you want to know the group size. Look up the... It's a peer research. Look it up. Like, literally, so much of people's bullshit can be proven wrong with a simple just Google search. Just knowledge can be acquired so easily in this day and age and motherfuckers are just allergic to it cryomaniac exactly like that shit that shit doesn't exist like it obviously exists obviously it exists it's just way less common than people like this motherfucker is trying to say. I deal with what I would say 5k people a week with real world shit each day. I'm telling you what I see out there. Yeah, apparently Will Stein, Will Stein every day, every interaction Will Stein has, he goes, hi, do you support trans people? Right. Hi, do you support trans people? Hi, do you support trans people? Hi, do you support trans people? Every interaction, bro. That's crazy. Yo, thanks for the Twitch follow. I appreciate that. I don't know how to say your name, but thank you for the Twitch follow. Every, dude, every, every day. Every interaction. Again, most Americans say they would favor laws that would protect transgender people from this discri discrimination in jobs, housing, and public spaces. Wow, this is so weird. This is so weird. Wait, look at this. Another poll from a different website from U at UCLA School of Law William Institute. 73% of respondents thought transgender people should be protected from discrimination. Huh. 71% said transgender people should be allowed to have gender-affirming surgery. Huh. 51% wanted the U.S. to do more to support and protect transgender people. So again... You're in the minority. How, how many more data points do I need to show you that your bullshit is the minority? What, what, what more do you want? You support trans people? W. Like, how many more data points? Okay, I don't fucking care what you think in your stupid little brain. You're wrong. You are statistically and factually wrong. So I don't know what to tell you.
clearly I do care. Bro, I'm telling you you're wrong and you just are refusing to agree. I've shown you two different polls. This is the third one. Hold on, this is the third one. Let's see. Over half the Democrats in this on trans say gender can differ in science birth. Gender identity, trans, someone can be a minor one trans. Gender identity, access to information on people. Support for trans youth access to people is low among cisgender youth adults, but majority support access to gender for, for trans youth. Or have Oh, this is comparing cis people and trans people. This is what I want. Sixty one percent of Americans disagree that businesses should be able to refuse transgender people based on religion. Again, it, all it takes is one Google search. Just, Will, just do a Google search, bro. Like, look at actual facts, actual information. Maybe, maybe just, like, stop making assumptions and, like, stop extrapolating shit from your brain and your personal anecdotes. And maybe, like, look at some actual statistics and some actual data, perhaps. Maybe use Google. They're making the value of it. Google isn't actual information. Dude, nothing's actual information. Studies aren't real information. Facts aren't real information. Statistics aren't. Nothing's real. Your data is from real world experiences. Okay, yeah. That's how it works, bro. Your personal anecdotes are are the data, I guess. That's how it works. Those weren't studies. It literally was a stu and they literally were. <laughs> it's, it's literally there were studies. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Uh. <laughs> the goalpost just constantly shifts, bro. Yeah, my data. Yeah, my data is from a random rural town in fucking Alabama. That's what. That's that's the same everywhere. My experiences and where I live is the same everywhere. That's how I think. Will, you are literally projecting your own feelings onto other people. What you say and how you feel is not how the majority of people feel. I don't know how to keep telling you this. Just because you and people around you feel a certain way doesn't mean that everyone or the majority of people feel that way. I don't know how to tell you this. You realize that you are probably surrounding yourself in an echo chamber. Like, I just showed you three different studies that say the opposite of what you're saying. You understand that, right? Like, how, like, what's it going to take for you to realize that you're wrong? Like, I, I don't, like, what will it take? I don't get it. Like, it's crazy, bro. You can't even, like... Nowadays, you... I mean, I shouldn't even say nowadays. 
you literally can't convince these reactionary people, these conservative people, that they're wrong. Like, you can't even convince them they're wrong with facts and studies and data. Like, there's just nothing. They think they're right. They already think what they want to think, and there's nothing that can change their mind, bro. Bro, I'm not upset. I'm literally just trying my best to get through to another human being to make them actually see reason, and I'm wasting my time, clearly. They're both delusional. Okay, yeah, that's it. Oh, we're taking a centrist position here. We're taking the enlightened centrist position. I'm somehow delusional, even though I'm using actual studies and, and, and information and facts. That makes sense. Do I have a ponytail? You can literally see my hair in the webcam. Like, quite literally, you can see it with your eyeballs. The problem isn't what party someone is. I didn't... Did I say a party? I don't I don't think I said a party. Did I say a party? doing the same they're top paid for being there bro this is what like this is what it is bro someone says something you prove they're wrong with data and facts and studies and then the goalpost is shifted to be like no actually those data those facts those studies are wrong those studies and facts are wrong and what i believe in my brain is right not that it's just a constant goalpost shifting endlessly. It's just endless. It's so cringe. <laughs> so silly. Okay, let's clean up YouTube chat. I think we're good. That's usually how it is. Doctor gets the poop. So many people are so silly. Like, I don't think most people like I would say the general sentiment on trans people, like the average American, average person, is probably like, yeah, I don't understand what being transgender is, or I don't really understand trans people, but like, I don't fucking care. Like, they live their lives, I live mine, why should I care? That is literally probably the average sentiment on trans people, like, genuinely. Nice Goku controller, thanks. It's Gogeta. Or Vegito. You're so silly, you're so silly. Well, that's the thing. It's like, what's up? What's up, Beza? How are you? It's like, some people don't actually want to listen and learn and change their minds. Like I said, they like, they have their opinions made up. They have their mind made up and they think what they want to think. They're not going to change. Like, they're not going to change their mindset. Unfortunately, I realized that. I realized that, uh time and time again there's some people that listen and like actually want to learn or understand 
but people like that when they come into the argument or come into the conversation with aggression and you know when with bad faith like that they don't want to change their mind they don't want to they don't want to like learn something new or think differently they just want to say what they have to say they want to say what Ryan they have to say. Murphy underscore 34 gifted a tier one subscription to Grey Azure. They want to say what they have to say, and uh, they don't care about what anything else is. They don't care about like reality or stats or anything. They have their opinion, and that's it. Ham Booger. Doing all right, doing. Yo, Ryan, thank you for the gifted sub to Greer. Sorry I was neglecting you for a while, YouTube chat. My bad. I got stun locked. I got stun locked by some transphobic people. I love you, Beza. You don't know what the core of the disagreement was? Um, he was just a transphobic person. And he was saying that the majority of people don't support trans people, which is wrong. And then I pulled up like three different studies that showed that the majority of people do support trans people. And he just kept shifting the goalposts saying like, no, actually, uh, the people that I interact with in my life don't support trans people, so. That's it. He didn't want to. He didn't want to listen there or to like the facts or the statistics. He just wanted to believe what he wanted to believe. It sucks our way. I know. I'm not a. I'm not a dude. Doctor gets the poop, but thanks. Any bald streamers? I'm not bald, unfortunately. Sorry. Un-American to keep people from doing what they want if they aren't harming anyone? You'd think that, right? It's weird. A lot of people will be like... Freedom, democracy, doing what I want. Can't let nobody control what I can do. No, not that. Accept that. You can't do that. Only do what I want. Only do the things that I like and I want. You're allowed to be free, but only for what I say. Everyone is allowed to live their life how they want, as long as I agree with it and I like it and want it. Ah, oh, shit. Leave me alone! What is my... What are the these macros my teammate has? Why is my teammate meowing in game chat? Them, John. Um, how can you tell? It's called using a data. It's called using data from multiple points and taking a population 
or taking a taking a poll on a subsect of a population that uh, somewhat is indicative of the whole population and then you extrapolate that data that's how statistics works you get people of all political leanings and all that shit why are femboys so smart no, no. Very true, Joshua. Very true. Was that an answer to your, your question? Yes. That's how statistics work. You take a... If you're extrapolating for a larger population, you take a smaller piece of that population that generally represents the whole population and extrapolate it. My teammate's still meowing and purring in team chat. Or sorry, not team chat, game chat. Oh my god, bro. That's wild. Unlucky. My teammate is strange. Just a little bit, yeah. Being a little bit silly. Nothing wrong with being a little bit silly. I would not like to lose this game though. That'd be a toss. What are these macros? What the fuck, man? <laughs> yeah, we lost. Oh, wait. They threw. Oh, my God. I don't know how they didn't score that. I don't have a good feeling about this game. We got to win this, like, now. God damn it. Hmm. Oh yeah. Do I score this? Damn. I think I was scoring that, I don't know. It's always good to play the miss there, just in case. Let's go. Holy shit. What's up, A dude? Hi, Raz. Bye, Raz. Sam, I pulled up three different studies on three different polls. They all represented the same data to a statistically significant degree. I mean, you're just trying... What you're trying to do is cast doubt on a study that was done by Pew Research Group. It's, like, very reliable. Just trying to cast that on it for some reason. Used to watch me years ago on Twitch. Hey, welcome back. What's up, Angela? How are you? That's gotta be one of the first things you get, Kyle. It's like, actually. Any stream likers? Hey! 
don't forget if you're in the youtube stream don't forget to drop a like on the live stream and don't forget to subscribe to my channel especially if you're cool and support trans rights that would be pretty epic Right now, I am GC2. Actually, I don't, like, it's kind of crazy because when I get stun locked and have these conversations and, like, be talking about, like, statistics and fucking studies and all sorts of, like, shit like that, I'm, like, not even fully focused on the game. And somehow, I feel like sometimes I'm winning more when I'm, like, having these conversations that are, like, sidetracking my brain than when I'm not. How does that work? Like, why am I winning more when I'm, like, only half locked in compared to when I'm fully locked in? I don't get it. It's so weird. Uh-oh. Spawn, spawn. Yeah. Uh-oh, that's a bad first touch. Oh, am I in west or something? What was that lag? The hell? Okay. Wait, is Dragon Ball sparking zero out? Wait, is Dragon Ball sparking Zero out already? Dude, that game looks so cool. Okay, don't get mad at me if you're a Dragon Ball fan, but I only played Dragon Ball Budokai. I never played Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi. Wait, what the hell? Bro, there is no way that a high school boy is using like a slur like that. That is like a, that's like a turf slur. What the hell? Where the hell did that little fella find that word? What the hell? That's like, a, that's like, a, that's like super transphobia. That's like, that's like a leveled up transphobia. What the fuck? Is that actually a slur? It's like literally like it's like a, a slur that like super transphobes use. Like that's like a slur that people who like dedicate their entire online personality to hating trans people use. It's kind of insane. What the hell? Like you you see that slur a lot in like turf spaces and stuff like that. They said nothing, don't worry about it. Shut the hell up, robot. I don't know the etymology of it. I just know who uses it and where it's used. Because I'm chronically online. If you couldn't tell, I'm chronically online. What is a biography? Did you like click on the wrong website? Did you mean to did you mean to type that into google.com? God damn it. That's not true, Callus. 
A lot of them I've been reading, but I'm like sidetracked on the other conversation. That's not even true. I know what y'all are talking about. I was responding in the beginning and middle. Some people, I don't understand. Are some people like, is Google not on everybody's like phone or computer, like their internet? Are some people banned from Google? What's up with that? God damn it. You think so, Vekage? That honestly could be it. I'm late to the Grubster wave, but better better late than never, right? Better late than never, even to the Grubster wave. Wait, let's switch the co uh, the conversation. How many of y'all have watched American Psycho? My girlfriend and I watched it for the first time ever last night. It was I, I was like genuinely surprised at how much I enjoyed it. Like, I didn't think I wouldn't enjoy it, but like I was shocked at how much I enjoyed it, like how, how like well I thought it was shot and stuff. I thought it was really good. I thought it was really good. It had some pretty good humor in, in points. It was, you know, relatively... Bro, ain't no way. It was relatively, like, had some unsettling, creepy bits and other points. I was, uh, yeah, I was, I was really happy with it. I would easily give it, like, I don't even know. Christian Bale did a great job at making me hate Patrick Bateman. A lot of I hated a lot of characters in, in that movie. That's how you know someone's doing a great job acting, though. If an actor can make you like hate the character they're playing, that's how you know they're a good actor. Good actor, good actress. Let's go. I have not watched you, but I've heard it's good. That's how you feel like Debbie from... I've never seen Shameless. Nice shot, thanks. You, is you scary? What's up, Austin? How are you? Bale is excellent. Yeah, Christian Bale is a great actor. They're being disingenuous and asking questions they, they know will get under your skin. Are you saying they're to me, uh, Josh? If you're if you're saying to me, then yes, I know. Like, I, dude, my okay. Let me put it this way: my experience is not a unique one for a queer person online. I I always like to mention that because like people aren't like uniquely mean to me and like oh I get more hate than other lgbtq people online like that's just not the case like this like it might be a little bit more for me like because i have a little online presence you know like i have people coming in and out of streams and stuff like that but like this is like the norm of what how weirdos treat queer people online unfortunately that's the case like i know this stuff like i've been dealing with it for years trust me
Like, I promise you, I don't let this shit, like, get to me. Like, I could care less what random, hateful weirdos online say. They don't represent the people in my life, and they don't represent, like, the majority of people. They're, again, they're just a loud, hateful minority. What's up, Pure? I do remember you. Hello. So your girlfriend is a lesbian, but still... Bro, what is... Like... Okay. How do you say something like that and not think, like, wow, that was a weird thing for me to say as a human being? Do I play Fortnite? Uh, I used to. Not anymore, though. Hey, Rue, how about you shut up? I don't know if there's a way to do a top hours command. Wait, do y'all want me to tell you top hours? Let me do that. Yeah, the overlay isn't showing YouTube chatters right now. I don't know. Botrix didn't connect today. I don't know why. I'll check it out real quick. I'll I'll do the hours. I don't know why the hours are like not working today. Or sorry. Why bot tricks isn't working today, but hmm. Um, okay, well, I mean, you sound like one of those hillbilly tree huggers. Hillbilly tree huggers. I feel like that's like an oxymoron now. Is YouTube chat showing up now? I think I fixed it. Um, true, Josh. I don't let, like, like I said, I've been, I've been dealing with this shit for, for years now, you know? It's, it's harder to let it get to me than to not. To me, they're just like random little, little mosquitoes buzzing around my ears, you know? That's all they are. They're just like slightly little annoying little guys. Um... It's exclamation point chat stats. We get the glasses. They look nice. What do you mean? I'm GC2 right now is my rank. Annoying, but not a full on issue. Yeah, it's like, like I said, they're, they're just a loud, hateful, a part of a loud, hateful minority. It doesn't represent the majority of people. And doesn't represent the people in my life, you know? So, like, genuinely, why should I care what these people say? Like, they're just random-ass strangers, strange, random-ass, strange, hateful people online. I've said it many times, and I'll say it again. People that act in that manner um, are not happy, well-adjusted confident people the it's you know simplified what's the expression like hurt people hurt people it, it rings true i'm just deleting bots right now hold on Yo, welcome to Twitch, Sam. Hey, don't forget, hey, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to like the stream and subscribe to the YouTube channel. But if you want to see the full stream with music, uh, feel free to hop over to Twitch. My Twitch is just P-A-P-S, Paps. And feel free to drop a follow. I would appreciate both those things.
Uh, I just got these glasses from like Target. They're um, they're Ray Ban frames. Hi, Redline. Hold on, I'm just getting rid of these bots, just so it's like more accurate. I want to make like the top 100 accurate. This is the top 25 right now. Robot, Hannah, Christino, Reich, Exitious, Schlee, Cal, Zylo, Rain. I'm surprised Rain's still this high. Damn, he must do a lot of lurking. I appreciate that. Callus, Keza, uh, Beza, Vekage, Eagle, Kaleidoscope, Emmanuel, Oso. Oso must be a lurker too. Damn. Greer. Damn, Greer too. Holy shit. Gim, Dav, Dave, Vizui. I don't know. Is this a real person? Someone uh, do the user profile. Is this a real person? What's up, Michael? That's so crazy, Callus. No worries, Sniper. I got you. There. Oh, I know who this is. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's no. I, okay, I know who that is. Then I wasn't sure that was a bot account. I know who that is. Okay, then Mar Mar Snub. Jan, Fugu, Redline, Brayden, Ralia, Fade, Jordan, Tomo, Redemption, Cross, Saith, Ryan, Twilly, Dismal, Yeetzee, Masetter, King, Hurdle, DJ, Waffles, Music, Ivan, Yeetzee, uh, Rue, Majid, Voltage, Bot, 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 Bot. Dark Demise, Kiyomi, uh, Vaseline, Bryson, Ty, Hell Nemesis, Freaky Puss, Anime, Bot, Bot, Dr. Ninja Dog, Tarse, Bot, Bot, Cosmo, Cosman, Zyro, Louie, I think this is a bot, 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 Kankirk, uh, Sin, Gem, Lonely E-Girl, Bot, Bot, I think that's a real person, um, Jeans, mm, Bot, Uh, I think everyone else is real. Okay. But yeah, those are the hours. Oh, reform and repent. Oh, God. Dude, religious, religious extremists are so fucking weird, bro. Jesus Christ. Greer, guess what? Greer, guess what? Guess what? Existence, what was it? I'm not adding your hour. Dude, I've had hours reset for over a year now, if you can believe that. Chicken butt? No, not chicken butt. I'm on day 83 of my cannabis break. We're getting closer and closer to the end. I said Exitious, what movie? Bro, I literally, what do you want from me? I didn't reset hours, like, because I wanted to. Do I take song requests? The song request bot doesn't work, but I can put one in for you if you if it's a good one. The Witch? I think I've heard of that. Exitious, I, I'm a bitch? What the fuck? Bro, I literally couldn't help it. My PC fucking broke. And I got a new one, and hours were stored locally. What the fuck do you want from me?
But yes, Greer, I'm still going for 100 days. I was originally going to do a 90-day cannabis break, but I thought to myself, you know, why stop at 90 when it's so close to 100? 100 just seems way cooler, right? So I'm going to go for the full hundo, and then uh, I'm going to be enjoying the live... I bought a couple live rosin carts a couple of weeks ago that have been sitting in my refrigerator waiting to be consumed. So I looked it up and you're supposed to store live rosin in the refrigerator if you're not going to be, if you want to like keep like the terpenes and flavor and stuff or whatever, I don't fucking know. Some weed dorks told me to do it, so I did it. I'm, I can't lie, Existence. I love witch stuff, so maybe I'd be up my alley. alley. I actually could, Callus. Yeah, I, I just... I'm a big fan of like witch related stuff and like Salem stuff, whatever, it's cool. I do have the new demo respawn, it just it just happens really fast. I'm so inspirational. Yeah, I do my best. Greer is in both chats, yes. Wait, you can still see YouTube chat on the screen, right? I I think I fixed it. Uh, maybe tomorrow, Callus. I don't know. This is not the real Frosty. No. Oh, yeah, YouTube. You can still have a Twitch now. But, yeah, I, I have the... The new demo animation, I have it set to zero, so it just shows me where I'm respawning as fast as possible. Fuck YouTube? Okay, that's crazy. Vekage is so- if y'all could see what Vekage was saying about y'all on Twitch, you would not be happy. Let's just say he said the F word. Isn't that kind of cool, though, y'all? In... In 17 days... Is that what that is? Yeah. In 17 days, I can go back to hitting the Benjamin button. Play Elden Ring? No, probably not. What the hell? Did I just lag? I can put some songs in for you after this game, if you want. I'm down. Everyone can get one song request if they want on Twitch. You haven't cheaped in like a hundred ish days. That that's what's gonna be like for me. I'm taking like a 100 day break. Let's go, we can win this, we can win this. That's gotta be Cap, Beza, you know. Uh, you did, did you watch Kai Sanat play? Bro, I, guys, I have, I have a laser hair removal appointment tomorrow at 12 p.m. I cannot play Elden Ring because you know damn well that I'm going to stay up way too late. I'm not getting enough sleep. 
and I'm gonna be really tired and I'll like be a zombie for my appointment and that won't be very fun. Kaisen that did not diss me. Him and I are chill, he would never do that. I saw Kai Sanat on a commercial on my TV. That was pretty cool. No, he didn't say that, robot. What the hell? How do I feel without weed? Um, I feel fine. You know, honestly, like, the more I reflect on it, like, at this current time, I don't think that personally... I feel very different with or without cannabis consumption. The way I view cannabis consumption for myself and stuff, I think it was an overall a positive for me. Um, but I also have tried my best to do a good job of not getting a physical dependence on it and trying my best to enjoy cannabis in a healthy, you know, in a That hurts. In a healthy, in a healthy way. That's crazy that that's how we lose. Holy lucky. Limitation is key, yeah. It's just moderation is key, you know? No, yeah, I know, Louie. Trust me, I know. Uh, GC2 right now. Dingo. Hate core. Oh, fuck. I insta queued and didn't put songs in. Okay. Please, please remind me to not insta queue after this game so I can put songs in. I apologize. Bro, someone needs to bring back the video game love edits on TikTok. <laughs> that was peak TikTok, bro. You smoke about one joint a day? That's pretty, I mean, that's pretty valid. Crash out, like the actual definition of crash out has changed quite a bit from what it was like orig originally meant. Like crash out was originally like meant to be like someone that like, like goes to fucking jail because they do something insane. Like to that extreme. Now crash out is just like if someone gets angry. It's been like diluted quite a bit. Yeah, what robot said. Like, catching charges, going to jail type shit. I'm guilty of it too, though. I used it ironically so much that it became a part of my vocabulary. Kinda callous. Not really. We don't talk about the chain together incident. Is that in? Ah. Social colloquialism. Okay, dork. What's up, Metroz? Almost four years, kind of crazy. Video game lover. Please tell me someone remembers the video game lover edits. <laughs> that was peak TikTok for me. <laughs> 
I unfortunately cannot show any video game lover edits on stream for TOS reasons, but <laughs> just trust me, they were good. <laughs> what's up, Mr. I can't read your name? And what's up, Declan? My mate is toxic. Yeah. Whatever. At least it's not to me. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Bro, I'm thinking about the edits. That shit was insane. Probably Redline. A lot of people, like, bro, like, I've said this a bunch, too. Like, if you're, if you're fun, like, if you're deriving fun out of other people's anger and, like, sadness and misery, then you're just, like, being an asshole. Like, you're just a shitty person. Like, if your fun is at other people's expense, then you're a dick. It's pretty easy. I think another another TikTok that made me laugh so many times when it like when I first saw it when it was first popping off is the Have you prayed today? Have you prayed today? When I first saw that, I think I actually like laughed for like 30 seconds straight. It was so good. <laughs> it's so good. Isn't YouTube chat so much nicer when there's no silly little guys? I can't read your name, Mr. Something. Girls are supposed to be bad at driving. Dude, you're like the fourth person to say that. Shut up, team switcher. Wait, you talking about me? Oh, shit. Was he coming after me there? That's always the alt accounts, bro. All right. Everyone, give me the song that you'd like me to put in on Twitch. What are those wheels? Ugly as shit. What's up, Ellie? I'll give everyone a free song request. Let's do it. What genre? Anything. Can we watch and edit? Depends, maybe. Okay. I put in robot song. I put in Callus's song. I put in Vekage's song. I put in Gim's song. Uh, can you tell me the name of it, Greer? I put in Louis' song. I put in um I put in Red Lines song Smoked Away Your Brain I put in Oraway song. I put in Exitius' song. I'm playing on PS5. Why does my hair look like that? It's on my head, not yours, so why the fuck you pressed about it?
Um, I put in Dingo's song. High Eclipse. Anyone else that I didn't say I put their song in? Anyone else? Hey, thanks, Nightmare. I appreciate it. Taste, Sabrina Carpenter. I got you. I put in Greer's song. You're playing Dead Space? Ooh, tell me how you enjoy that. I've never played it through all the way. I should put that on my on my wish list. Okay, I think I put in everyone. I'm gonna put that on my wish list right now. Dead space. Sixty dollars. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on my wish list. See when it goes on sale. Okay. Hey, I appreciate that nightmare. People like you are W's. I can't play music on YouTube, Buddha. I'm sorry, only on Twitch. Copyright on YouTube is really bad. How are we doing? Doing pretty good today. How are you doing? Yeah, I heard the PSN servers are tough. I should have Kez buy that for me. Oh, sh shut up, Emmanuel. Immortals Island? I have not. What is it? Yeah, Rue is talking about how I should get that, but 60 bucks? No way. The session's going pretty good. I've been winning almost all my games. What's up, Queerinks? How are you? Queerinks? Um, I'm not a coach. I'm sorry. I hate 1v1, bro. Damn, that's tough, red line. Well, if it goes on sale again, I'll have it. I never gave you your smooch. Did you redeem one? Are you gonna scam me? Bro, that's so crazy you're going for that. Holy smokes. What's up, KCB? It was when I joined say I love you. Mwah! I got you. I believe you. Don't ruin my trust. Would I jump for the beef? Hi, Brayden. I don't know. I don't know what that means, but you know what? Yeah, I would. Why not? Damn, I just beamed and opened that. That's tough. Very, very tough. That's why I end the rank I am in ones. Bang. That's a good play, though. What's up, SSK? Minecraft parkour civilization movie? What? I would say the biggest tip I have for lower rank people, like lower ranks that I notice the most, as a general tip, someone that has thousands and thousands of hours in this game, not enough people use free play in a way to improve themselves. If you genuinely want to get the most out of training and free play, you need to be going into free play and you need to be making yourself uncomfortable. You need to be trying things that you're not good at. You need to be like doing repetitions, getting touches on the ball and just over and over and over again. 
implementing that muscle memory. Make yourself uncomfortable. Keep do new shit. Practice new stuff. Practice recoveries, speed, anything, you know? That's how you get better in Rock and League. Why aren't you fishing right now? The salmon are running? What? Is that a joke I don't get? Why would we... Hey, you can call me washed and you might be kind of right. But that doesn't... I hate 1v1 so much. But that doesn't change what I change the fact of what I said is right. I hate one v one so much. So true, Zylo. Oh, this guy's angry. Do I even say I'm reading chat? Is it even worth it? I don't know. I don't think he cares. I think he's going to be angry regardless. Do I play with a butt plug in? No. Great question, though. Classic Louie. The fishing is good. Oh. I I've only been fishing a couple times in my life, so it's okay. Not really for me. Actually, George Washington had teeth from his slaves. No joke. That's how fucked up that is. This is the Vekid song, by the way. This is like, this is Vekage, Vekage 101. Not hard enough. I'm so fucking bad at the game. God damn it. That's why you don't go for cool plays in 1v1, bro. <laughs> Just gotta walk in the open net. Fuck, dude. One v. I hate one v one. I really do. One v one is the unfortunately one v one is like simultaneously like the most frustrating playlist in Rocket League. I'm so fucking bad for letting that happen. By the way, um, it's simultaneously the most frustrating playlist in Rocket League, but also the one that can help you improve the most if you use it right, unfortunately. Sucks. 
Sucks how true that is. Holy shit, that was crazy. Not me, Cross. Who up drinking zero sugar soda? I don't know who that is, Eternal, sorry. Uh, no, long, strange trip. I mean, I'm just not really a big fan of fishing. It was all right. What's up, Vizui? How are you? How have you been? Um... Oh shit, I've been live for almost four hours already. Damn, I guess maybe I will have time to play another game, maybe. Wait. That's right. I have now reached Super Saiyan Rose. Or away, tier one has joined Paps Peeps. Greater than. Yo! Orway, thank you for the sub. What the hell? You subscribed for six months? God damn, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yo, I just realized we we smashed the sub goal on Twitch and we're halfway to the follow goal almost. Let's go. Hey, if you're not following on Twitch yet, please drop a follow. I appreciate it. And on YouTube, don't forget to drop a like on the stream and subscribe to the channel. And hey, if you're on YouTube but maybe you prefer Twitch, I'm live there too. Feel free to hop over, drop a follow. There's music here. And it's horizontal. I appreciate you, Aura Ray, again. Thank you very much for the sub. Super Saiyan Rosé is cool, but where's Alter Instinct? Super Saiyan Rosé is prettier. I deserve it. Honestly, low-key, eating some fresh fish that you caught yourself would kind of slap. Oh, Cross, that's a good tip, actually. Is that... Wait, so I shouldn't be having black pepper? Let's go, Dingo! There's music here on the dark side. Unfortunately, I can't play music on YouTube, which kind of sucks. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me not get too sidetracked. Okay, so... What would y'all prefer me to play? Would you would y'all be down to watch me play since technically it's already Spooktober? Would y'all be down to watch me play like a short horror game? There's a horror game that I have. Apparently it's like 30 to 45 minutes long and I would not be opposed to like trying that out. Um I could do that. I could play like a Valorant game. I can't play Elden Ring because I, I'll, I know if I play Elden Ring that I will stay on for too long. I just know it. I know my self-control. I know I'll stay on for way too long and I won't get enough sleep. No, I'm doing I'm doing Moog and then I'm doing Millennia and then I'm proceeding in Fair Missoula. That's my plan of attack. Nice shot. I didn't shoot at the thanks. Have I tried playing Hello Neighbor 2? I did not know. How am I dumb? 
Callus thinks everyone is as bad as them. It's kind of crazy. Literally, Emmanuel beat Melania and didn't finish the game. What Valorant agent do I main? Well, I don't really play Valorant, so it's hard to say I main anything. But I probably I play Reyna more than anything else. Val streams were peak. I used to like be a, a mini Val grinder when I was playing it quite a bit. I'm such a I'm such a rain of main Vekage knows. Yeah, I know. Kala sucks at Elden Ring. I don't know. I don't really take They give me good advice sometimes, but like, you know, I don't really, you know, I'm not really going to take Melania advice from someone who couldn't even beat her. Yeah, Elden Ring is my first Souls game. I'm really enjoying it. First time on stream, you're bad at Rocket League, so it's therapeutic. Hey, you know what? I'm pretty bad, too. Relatively speaking. It's just Rocket League. Everyone thinks they suck at Rocket League no matter what rank they are. Uh -oh. Do I play Siege? No, I never got in Siege. Beckage, you clearly didn't watch me fight the fire giant for an hour and a half last time I played, did you? That shit was so annoying. Okay. Fire giant, so far the most annoying boss yet. And not even in like a super difficult, had to get the movement down way. Like, the hitbox for the Fire Giant seems so broken. It was actually tilting the fuck out of me. I think the only main boss that I've been overleveled for is Margot. I don't think I've been overleveled for any other boss in the game, to be honest. I wasn't overleveled for, for Margit. I wasn't overleveled for Godric. I wasn't overleveled for Radon. I wasn't overleveled for Renala. Morgat, whatever. Never ask chat for Siren Quest again. <laughs> it's funny Kalos is saying that, like, Melania is not a harder boss fight than the Godskin duo. I am... I'm plus 74 right now, dude. I've been having a good session. Last two streams, I was plus 91 last stream. And I'm plus 74 right now. We're cooking the last two streams. Let's go. Rocky has some good-ass music, Dingo. 
get a different ending, like a good one or a bad one. No, I'm playing how I want, and I'm doing Moog, Melania, and then Farrah Missoula. I am not doing the frenzied flame ending or whatever. Fuck off. I already I gave that that blind girl one grape. That's all she gets. That guy was that guy was using Yura's body. Bro, I am doing Moog, then Melania, and then the Godskin duo. I've already I've already explored Fair Missoula a little bit. Like I already have like five or six graces in Fair Missoula. Like I'm I've already done a little bit of it. Ventured into it. Pathing like an idiot? How am I pathing like an idiot? I'm pretty sure Bright is the one that told me to go to the consecrated snowfields. I'm already like level like 120 or something. You're acting like I'm like gonna be under leveled for it. I'm gonna be fine. Nice fun fact, SSK. Fighting Cowboy? What's that? Damn. Video game lover. Existed can't even complain because he requested this. What the double jump? Jesus Christ. I would love the queue with your play style is very smart. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. I have no idea, Redline. Interesting, Hayden. I double jumped. I meant to to air roll shoot it. Unlucky. How did cheese Melania? I wonder when Callus will accept that I'm not as bad as them at the game. Again, Emmanuel beat Melania and did not beat the game. I just want to reiterate that. Callus is. Callus literally couldn't beat Melania and had to go to New Game Plus and farm more and, and get like OP to even beat her.
I'm like level 124 or something. I'm not even like low level. Callus just keeps getting so mad that I'm playing the game how I want and doing well still. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I know I'm a good enough level. I literally looked it up. It said I'm supposed to be like level 120 and I'm level 124 or whatever. It's like, hello? I'm like fine. That's just like bar, uh, higher ranks in general, suppressor. Bro, even if I can't enter like Melania's boss arena yet or something, I ha will have a grace there. So it, it won't even be pointless regardless. I'll have a grace in the area and I can just go back whenever I can. Or away, I know. Twitch is a lot better for the most part. Answer the question, Callus. Could you or could you not beat Melania? before new game plus yes or no question I guarantee these boss fights will not be more annoying than the fire giant because i'll actually see paths and ways to beat them and not just fucking get mad because the hitbox is so dog shit the fire giant was annoying in a way that like i wasn't like oh i gotta do this and learn and learn learn and do this though i gotta like i was dodging all the fucking attacks and everything i was getting punished for missing his stupidly big yet at the same time small hitbox and it was driving me insane like every other boss every other boss they have like patterns and moves that I that I can learn and and get better at dodging and so on and so forth. That's just not how the fire giant was at all. I'll be the next big streamer. Hell yeah. I guarantee like I might die more times on Malekith or Melania or whatever, but at least it'll be in a way where I'll understand why and what and get better and learn. That's just not how I fought the fire. Like, I literally could have beat Fire Giant on attempt two if it wasn't for the fucking jank. Okay, it's unfortunate. I mean, there are ways to avoid waterfowl dance or whatever. Radon? I kicked Radon's ass a long time ago. I'm not making that my name. There is not a single boss that I cannot beat in Elden Ring. 
without enough attempts. That's such a wild challenge, but okay. I'm good at learning Elden Ring bosses and adapting. That is that is the that is something that I've learned about my Elden Ring gameplay over the past 55 hours or whatever I have. Exactly, Vizui. It just takes time. Effort and patience. Maybe let's go easy on Callus today, y'all considering they already seemed like they weren't having a good day. Lest we forget. That's why I don't pass the ball back, man. Whatever. Never worth it. Good try with the bait, Beckage. I'm gonna just start sitting in Beckage's chat and just only shit talking. I gotta get in. I honestly. I don't even feel bad when Beza shits on you all the time now. You know what? You deserve it. Robot, you're like platinum. You can't analyze the game. What's up, mate? Of course I remember you. <laughs> How many hours did I guess I have in Rocket League? Like 10,000 plus. A lot. What's up, Crimson? You're spitting existious. How long can we learn air roll? A lot, many hours. Yeah, Rocket League takes like thousands of hours to start getting good at trust. Peace out, SSK. All right. For me, I prefer R1 boost, yeah. If I win this game, I'm probably gonna hop off Rocket League. And I should probably hop off and go to bed. I think. Oh, 
Oh, that's a bad save. Nice. I think I'll be smart and not waste even more sleep. Have I smoked yet? No, I'm still on my cannabis break. I'll be on my cannabis break for another couple of weeks at least. So I'm done on YouTube. I appreciate that. If anyone else is not a... Uh if anyone else is in the YouTube chat and you're not subscribed and you haven't yet liked the live stream, I would appreciate you doing both those things. I'm going to be hopping off pretty soon. So, especially if, if you like what you're seeing and you want to catch me again and hang out again. Obviously, if you subscribe, you'll uh, see my live stream in your, in your feed or whatever, probably. I don't know how it works exactly. Wow, man. Two goals that I just have zero fault in. I can't do anything about it. Unfortunately. If y'all are smoking tonight, take a rip for me. I'm still I'm still on my detox for a couple more weeks. I would like to win this game and get off. I've been doing so good this whole sesh, so I would prefer to not end on a losing streak. I have a win in ones. I have a win in threes. I just need to get a win in twos. Honestly, two two W stream sesh in a row overall. Like, like I said, last stream I went plus 91 in 3v3 and got my rank up out of poopy 1500 and um right now we're just getting our twos rank up a little bit My God. Okay. That was very interesting. Take this first one. And I get the softest fucking touch of my life, unfortunately. And we're getting scored on. Okay. Very, very, very cool. Unlucky. Holy shit. Score that now.
I trust you, teammate. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Unlucky. I thought my teammate had me there. I could have controlled that. I thought he was going to dive in. Tough games, man. Just let me just let me get out of here, bro. Like, again, what are you gonna do? Teammate has 64 points. Just just one of those last games, I guess. Unlucky. I'm not playing anymore after this. I'm not gonna sit here and go on a losing streak. No thanks, bro. Still a W sesh. Plus 55. I'll take it. Plus 55. Plus 91 last stream. Plus 55 this stream. That's pretty good. I'll take it. You talking to me, Grayson? Still, what are you? What are you talking about? You're like platinum. You don't understand the game. Okay. Anyways, um, drop a like on the YouTube stream if you like the stream. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Um, but I am gonna be hopping off for today. Um, so have a good day, YouTube. Appreciate you. Love you. Thanks for supporting. Uh, I'll be live again tomorrow and. Now that Spooktober has started, I'm gonna try to play. I'm gonna try to play some some horror game every day. I'll probably take like a couple days to beat Dead Rising. It'll probably take me, you know, at least three four days to beat Resident Evil Two. It'll probably take me one stream to beat Slender, one stream to beat Psalm. So I gotta build up some uh, some games to play. But yeah. I, I do plan on playing horror games. Um, I do plan on playing horror games uh, throughout October. I want to be, like, I have four games. I want to be at least, like, I don't know, five, six, seven games. So we'll see what I have lined up. But, yeah, love you, YouTube. Appreciate you. Have a good one. Bye. Okay, Twitch's turn to go to sleep. Okay, who are we rating today? Let's rate Hassan. He's not live, darn. QT is live. Let's rate QT. Um, who's someone I haven't rated for a long time? Mm. I'm not rating John Sandman. He has five, six hundred viewers. Nene queuing slots. This is your enemy Vekage. Oh, he's done. Never mind. I've rated Zoxy. I've rated Ryan, obviously, all the time. I've rated Gray Fox for a while, but. <sighs> um, oh, Eminent just went live. 
Can we buy rated not longer imminent or or peaceful? I feel like I rated peaceful not that long ago. Let's start off imminence raid with a bang. Okay. Anyway. With that being said, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thanks for vibing. Um, Callus left. Y'all were being assholes to them for too much. Um, but nice. Yeah, today was um honestly pretty pretty good stream. Pretty good vibes. W Rocket League sesh. Uh, like I said, we went pretty freaking positive. Two sh two streams in a row. I was involved in that. Yeah, I said like one thing. It was all banter. Callus literally left. It was not banter to them. Clearly. Thank you. Hey, for those of you that weren't in Discord or didn't hear, I do have my first laser hair removal treatment tomorrow, which is really exciting. I've been wanting to get it for a long time, so I'm very excited to see how it goes, and I really hope that it's not too painful, and I also hope that it um, goes well, and it just, I don't know. I'm really hoping that it goes well. I'm very excited. How many sessions? It's uh, eight sessions. Laser hair removal, spook loot coaching session. It's going to be on my uh, full face and neck. So, yeah, I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping it doesn't hurt too bad. I've, I've seen, you know, I've seen anything from, oh, it doesn't really even hurt at all to it's, you know, quite painful. So, either way, I'm very excited. I hate screaming, crying, and agony. Oh, okay. That's great. I really hate my facial hair, and I've been wanting to get rid of it for a long time. Not e like even not even just for like you know wanting to fem up my face reasons, but also because like I have very sensitive skin, and shaving all the time causes like irritation and like some like razor burn and stuff way too often it's uncomfortable i don't like it so you know laser hair removal will also fix that so i'm very excited but anyway show him in it some love i'll let y'all know how it goes and i'll see you next stream peace